Hello viewers, today I am going to show you a small procedure in which we are going to reduce a dislocated first carpal metacarpal joint. It's an extremely uh, rare injury and uh, I think uh, I am doing this case after probably a decade. Uh, it's, it's very uncommon to see these injuries because it is well supported by uh, many ligaments. However, our patient today has this injury uh, five days ago and he is presented to us with pain and difficulty in moving his thumb and radiologically he has got base of thumb uh, carpal metacarpal joint dislocation and today I am going to show you how to reduce it. So a patient is uh, under the block. Now if you look at the thumb, uh, unless you look at uh, very carefully, you will see a small dip and uh, if you look at the other side, there is um, very slight difference. So from outside, it can look very normal. Uh, here he has got an uh, aberration. Uh, but if you take an x-ray in this particular view, so if we take an AP uh, with hand in this position, I will show you how it looks on the CM. This is our trapezium. This is our first metacarpal. Looking at it, you may get a perception that this is congruent. So this is one of the reasons this injury gets missed because it's rare. And also if you don't get the right images, uh, it can be quite deceptive to read and you can miss this injury. It's extremely important that you take uh, x-rays in different um, uh, positions. So this is a slightly oblique and if we take a CM, just take a picture Akash. So it looks completely dislocated. Now the best view to assess carpal metacarpal joint, especially the first metacarpal joint is the Roberts view and I will show you how to take it. So your elbow is completely extended and pronated and you put the hand upside down and then you take the image and I will show you how it looks. So now you can see in this view that your metacarpal has come out anteriorly. Now once you have made the diagnosis, a reduction is usually very straightforward. Uh, you just need to give a longitudinal traction um, and there is no major uh, soft tissue which can get interposed. So in this I would advise to have some longitudinal traction and try to press the base of the first metacarpal to get this in reduction in the position of uh, reduction. So Manoj is giving counter traction. Now whenever you are giving traction on fingers, especially if you have painted with betadine, it can become quite slippery. It's always a good idea to have a gauge piece. Um, at the distal end and it gives you a good grip when you are doing giving the traction. So I am just giving a longitudinal pull. This is now 4 days old or 5 days old. Let's see if it comes um, easily or not. So I am just giving traction, counter traction for some time and I will wait for few minutes. So, so far we have given traction, counter traction for few minutes. We have not heard any click or clunk suggestive that this has reduced. Um, hence I am going to do the manipulate the base. So this is metacarpophalangeal joint. I am following the base of the first metacarpal and it's just there and try to see if I can get this reduced. Now to be honest, all we did was to give some longitudinal traction and I uh, tell you honestly that I didn't feel any click or clunk. Uh, it's an uncommon uh, uh, joint to be dislocated. I have not done many in many years. So I didn't feel a click. However, if I look at the position, when we took the x-ray, it looks perfectly reduced. So now if you look at the carpometacarpal joint, it looks pretty congruent. Previously, it was subluxed to completely dislocate it. So I think just the longitudinal traction um, did the job. Uh, after that, I did manipulate the base of thumb. I tried to push it towards the trapezium, but I think combination of traction and pushing the base of thumb should be able to reduce this joint. Now, once you reduce a joint, you need to reassess the stability. Um, if most of the times, once it is reduced, it becomes stable and you don't need to put a K wire. All you need is thumb spica for around a month or six weeks and it does the job. But how to assess whether it's stable or not is to do a dynamic screening. So if you do a dynamic screening, Akash.
it looks pretty good so you know it's uh, if you feel that if uh, you have any doubts there is no harm in putting a wire from base of the first metacarpal down into the trapezium you leave it for around 6 weeks and then you can take it off now initially especially with a patient like this i cannot put a cast so what i do is i just make a small um u you know something like a thumb spike so what it does is it just keeps it in position for few weeks and once the wound has healed so what i do is i just take it across here if akash can come from this side please or oh, prashant sorry can so i'm just going to take this and then just wrap it around now this in itself is more than enough to keep the position of can i have a crepe bandage please 4 inch crepe bandage so unfortunately we didn't have a 4 inch so we just cut the 6 inch one and then all you need to do is to go across the thumb and this usually does the job so we will keep this for week 10 days and once the skin condition is amenable we'll put the patient in a cast so this is usually it usually does the job so we'll just keep it in this position and that's about it but you need to keep it immobilized for at least 4 to 6 weeks because that is the time it takes for ligaments to heal so viewers this was a demonstration on how to reduce a carpo metacarpal joint now um, while reducing it i think usually just the traction and counter traction will do the job in fresh cases you might feel a click today unfortunately we didn't feel a click and uh, i did give a longitudinal traction for 2 minutes and then i manipulated the base of thumb i pushed it into its position uh, again i would say that i didn't feel a click but radiologically it was nicely reduced once you have reduced it it is extremely important to do a fluoroscopic dynamic examination to assess the stability and if it is stable leave it put it in thumb spica for around 4 to 6 weeks and that will do the job if at any point if you feel it's redislocating or reduction is not congruent then supplement it with one or two k wires because it's extremely important the reduction has to be congruent otherwise later on not it predisposes to base of thumb arthritis so thank you for watching this video i am sure this will be useful in your career please give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe and do share our channel thank you